This is what he does when I'm trying to work. Oh, and now I pay attention and yeah. You are so spoiled. You want to play? He doesn't like it when I pay attention to something other than him. <laughs> so spoiled. So spoiled. You're very demanding. Has anyone ever told you that you're spoiled? All because you want dinner now. It's only 5.45. It's too early. Another 45 minutes. Fine. You win. You want supper? Is that what you've been trying to tell me for the past hour? <laughs> you can't even be hungry yet. You just had chicken. Well, I guess he's he's getting dinner. You have me so well trained. Tonight I'm going to paint night with my mom. It's going to be a really, really good time. Um, I don't even remember the last mom-daughter date that I've done with her. Can't even recall. Being that we live a little ways apart and I worked around the clock and she works Monday to Friday and has a cabin on the weekends. We're busy ladies, or at least I used to be. I'm not right now, so plenty of time for family. But before we get going, I have to do Frankie's exercises with him that we've been instructed from our natural healing vet, Kara, to do on a daily basis. And I try to do them once or twice a day when I think of it. I forgot yesterday. My bad, bad mom. So let's do those. Frankie's not gonna be impressed. What am I doing, huh? Why, you ask, is she laying down a broom and a mop? Oh, I'm about to show you. But first, as Barney would say, Frankie has to suit up. Okay, can you suit up? Come on, suit up. It may seem strange that I'm putting on a harness and a leash for this, but for anyone else who's ever owned a wiener dog, <laughs> You know that they don't do things unless they want to do things. And that's that. You're not their boss. They're your boss. No matter how firm of an owner you are, you'll never rule a wiener dog. So here we go. Many of you are thinking, wow, that was really strange and pointless. Actually, it was not. Uh, the purpose of laying down the broom and the mop handles is Frankie is trying to get back his mobility and his strength and his muscle in his shoulder. And by picking up that paw over an obstacle, and remember, their, their legs are like that big as you just saw. Um, so it can't be a high obstacle. You don't want them to jump. 
But picking up their paws over and over again, a few times a day, if, if he'll allow me. He usually doesn't, because what Frankie says goes. But continually practicing that, even for tiny spurts like that, we usually do for five to 10 minutes. Today it was only about three or so. But by doing that, it builds muscle in his shoulder and it'll help him with his mobility in the end. We also have a couple other exercises we do. I will take a treat and I will bring it to the side of him and I will get him to, to bend and try to grab the treat to the left because his left side was the side that he had the most trouble with. Um, so I do that with little bits of carrot and cucumber each day. They don't recommend a lot of cucumber though because it's a little bit hard for a, a dog to digest, but he really, really loves it. Um, I'll also use banana. The vets use liver treats, all natural liver treats, things like that. Things that are good for them. You also don't want to overdo it with carrots because they're high in sugar, but those seem to be the things that Frankie likes. So that's what we go with. Whatever works, right? As long as it's not an excess. So now... We're going to pack a bag because it's snowy and blowy out there. Don't know if you can see that or not. We're going to pack a bag and where are we going to go? We're going to go to grandma's. We're packing a bag just in case the roads get bad. In Manitoba, you always have to expect the worst in terms of weather. So we might have a sleepover, buddy. Sound good? Go see grandma? Yeah? Well, let's pick up this stuff first. Stay there. Mom got your blankie out of the dryer, buddy. Look. Look. It's nice and warm. Little Mr. Anxiety. I know it. Okay, let's go to Grandma's. Stay back there. You. Doesn't even use his freshly warmed up blankie. Okay, let's go. What do you got? What do you got? Is that an owl? Wow. What do you got? <laughs> He's so happy. Wiener. Oh my goodness. Wiener. Such a happy puppy. Get it. Get it, Gam. Get it. I just gotta watch my fingers. I know, he's vicious. But he needs it. He's been extra super spunky lately. That's because he wasn't spunky for so long. Exactly. All that pent up energy is coming out all at once. Oh, you gonna get it? Get it don't make him don't make him jump mom. But he can run, right? Yep. As oh, long as he's not jumping. Floor, though, watch. Yeah, I gotta watch that at home yeah. too. I just throw short distances. Okay, gotta make sure everything's good. Okay? With a wiener face. Now don't shake your neck like that. Let's see. Oh. He's the great burrower. Oh, oh, you got it, wiener, you got it. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. He's so happy. Are you happy? So tonight, Mom and I are going to the King's Head Pub for paint night. And I don't know if any of you have ever been to paint night. Uh, it's basically an opportunity for a group of people to get together. There's an instructor. They give you a canvas. You buy tickets. Because it's in a pub, the upstairs of a pub, often. Not always, but no, different locations. Yeah. But the ones that I've gone to, yeah, you can have a drink while you paint and just chill out with a group of friends or just the two of you or solo, doesn't matter. Um, and they give you instructions on how to paint the painting that you have chosen. So we chose a, well, I chose, surprise, surprise, a French countryside rooster. Is that what it's called? I think, I think, that's what you said I think called, so. Yeah. yeah, so super excited about that. It should match my theme, whether or not it'll turn out. I did not get my mother's artsy gene. I can draw. I can't necessarily paint, but I can draw. That's about it. I can write a mean essay. Well, this place is bloody terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> my stepdad just dropped us off. Hey, 
Alrighty, we have arrived. All right, Mom, let's put on our aprons. How do we look? Do you like our aprons? <laughs> Last time they were bright green. This isn't too bad. No, they're usually green. They're yeah, like covered in paint. Mm -hmm. So this is what the painting is supposed to look like? I don't think mine's going to look like that. But that's okay. That's okay. As long as it somewhat resembles poultry, we're good. The finished products. Mine. I really like the feathers. Don't know about the face, but hey, it's a lot better than I expected. And mom's. I like them both. I think they all, you know what, everybody did a really, really nice you job. You did an awesome job. Very unique. I'll, I'll, everybody's a little bit different. Always. We always interpret things differently, but yeah, I, I'm really liking it. It's going to suit the house. I chose this, as you can tell. <laughs> it was obviously my idea. So we found the best one of the night. Look at that. That is art. <laughs> <laughs> he's being roasted oh, he's roast. over a fire. And he's got a top hat. That's beautiful. Hilarious. Good morning, Wiener. We spent the night at Grandma's, didn't we? We didn't want to risk it driving home in the dark with all the snow and the wind and the ice, and all the other bad drivers. So we just didn't risk it. Hey, buddy? Yeah. We're going to go home today in the daylight, though. Are we going home? Yeah? You excited? Oh, my goodness. Nice dancing. Impressive. Okay, you want to get going? You want to go home? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, let's get out of here, buddy. Alrighty, we have arrived home, and the first thing that I want to do is fix my painting. There are a few things I didn't get to do last night. Um, I wanted to fill out the chest a little bit more. wanted to incorporate a little bit more red in the wing. And I wanted to outline the legs because from far away, you can't really tell that he even has legs. But I don't know. They're not the best legs, but I like it. I also wanted to fix the uh, crown right there. I went a little too heavy on the red, so I'm going to put some white there. And uh, I'm probably going to uh, just take down this outline just a little bit on the face. Not too sure if I'm going to do that or not, but the other things, most definitely. Hoping that it looks good after this. Hopefully I don't wreck it. If so, I mean, I can always buy my own canvas, and I've got some paints of my own, so, and tons of brushes from a discount pack at Michael's, so hoping that this turns out. Wish me luck. And voila! It's much more of what I wanted when I was in the class. I feathered the chest out, made it a little more broad. I got the, well, the legs. Honestly, nobody's legs looked good. Not even the artist's legs. So whatever, they're neither here nor there. They're legs. And I made like a kind of a dirty country road kind of look, like a dirt road. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty proud of it. I added a lot more color. I added in some greens. After seeing my mom's this morning, I was like, oh, I want mine to be more colorful. So I added extra red, extra green, extra orange and yellow and I'm really, really happy about it. I fixed the crown. I fixed a little bit of the outline of the mask. It's not perfect, but I love it, and I'm really, really proud of it. Judge it all you want. That's cool. That's what art's there for, to kind of interpret and judge, I guess, if you're an artsy-fartsy kind of person, but I really, really love it. And it's going to go up behind the fridge. I'm going to take all that crap down. Gives me an excuse to clean up there. And this will be part of the decor. Hopefully I can reach. I don't think I can without Josh. And I can't move that fridge. It's incredibly heavy. So I'm going to have to wait till he gets home, I guess. Frank, say stay classy, San Diego. No? No round burgundy moments? 
Okay, at least thank the good people for watching. Say thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.